Remember Carson Briere, the son of Flyers GM and ex-NHL man Daniel Briere? This story originally broke in March of 2023 at a local bar called Sullivan's Pub and Eatery in Erie, Pennsylvania. Briere is seen on video chatting with friends upstairs. They would spot a wheelchair. And sadly, this is where it takes a depressing turn. Briere would play with, sit in, and scoot in the wheelchair. Let's drive the point home. This is how an individual gets around. This is necessary, and Briere could care less. One thing would lead to another, and Briere, on his second college hockey team, would forcefully push the wheelchair down a long flight of stairs, damaging it and requiring repairs. Briere would continue along like nothing happened. The story on the person's chair, Sydney Bennis, was told by Inside Edition. I need this. I need this chair. She's the young woman whose wheelchair was pushed down a staircase by a college student. Now she's talking to Inside Edition. How did that make you feel? It was really hurtful and disrespectful and just kind of heartbreaking. 22-year-old Sydney Bennis's legs were amputated two years ago following a car crash. In August of 2021, Sydney was in a really bad car accident, which left her with serious burns over 34% of her body, including both of her feet, which would be amputated. Because of an infection, she would also lose her left leg and, of course, would use a wheelchair for much of her day-to-day -day life. All that kept going through my mind was... God, I hope this was an accident. I really hope somebody just accidentally bumped it down the stairs. Carson was told to come and apologize to me before they kicked him out. And uh, the apology was quite insincere. People were saying, oh, he's acting like a child. He's acting like a child. No child would throw a wheelchair down a staircase. Briere would be suspended from Mercyhurst College. This is a player and a college kid who simply cannot get out of his own way. The school would release this statement after conducting an internal investigation into the incidents depicted on social media. The Mercyhurst Athletics Department has determined that three individuals in the video are student athletes. We have placed all three on interim suspension from their athletic teams per school policy, pending the outcome of the investigative process. As charges were brought, Briere made a move of his own via Mike Copper of the Erie Times. The move into the transfer portal indicates Briere is looking to play for another college program. He had already had a falling out with Arizona State, where he admitted to partying too much, drinking, and not taking the sport seriously. If another school lets him play, it will be his third. The Associated Press would then report, Police in Erie, Pennsylvania filed charges of criminal mischief, criminal conspiracy to commit mischief, and disorderly conduct against Briere. On the wheelchair front, the push messed up bearings in the wheels. There were cracked pieces. The armrests were damaged. The brakes were broken and more. Bennis demanded accountability for the actions from Briere and others who participated. The next update is this. Carson Briere. 24 years of age, along with Patrick Carosi, who's 22 years of age, per the Philly Inquirer, will each serve 15 months probation for a second-degree misdemeanor count of criminal mischief as part of a program for first-time nonviolent offenders, according to a ruling by Erie County Court of Common Pleas Judge John J. Mead, as confirmed by his office. The ruling was first reported by the Erie Times News. And the probation program will allow the charges to be dismissed and their records to be expunged. He previously, Briere, expressed remorse and said in a statement, There is no excuse for my actions, and I will do whatever I can to make up for this serious lack of judgment. The Toronto Sun would write, Briere's attorney told the judge his client received counseling, volunteered for a disabled veterans hockey club, and attempted to pay for the damages to Bennis's wheelchair. In court, Bennis told Judge Mead, that growing up, her parents taught her to treat everyone with respect and kindness. But following the incident, she found out not everyone feels the same. And following the incident, Bennis said she heard from tons of people with disabilities who would share similar hardships. Disabled people don't want special treatment or privileges. They just want to be treated like everyone else, she said. Meanwhile, Carosi's lawyer, Tim George, told the judge the incident at Sullivan's was isolated, wholly out of character, for Carosi. He said his client worked very hard at Mercyhurst and served many hours of community service to organizations supporting those with physical disabilities.